3 Eye Atlas is becoming increasingly mysterious. Our third interstellar visitor is now showing no gravitational acceleration, and its much-discussed tail has completely disappeared in a new image. What's behind this? Make sure to stick around until the end, because these new discoveries are absolutely crazy. A warm welcome, everyone. Before we begin, a quick reminder some time ago I interviewed none other than Professor Avi Loeb. I simply wrote to him, he replied immediately, and we did an interview, so feel free to check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the alien theories regarding 3 Eye Atlas, but I think it's super important to talk to all sides and consider different perspectives. The interview was really exciting, and if you don't want to miss interviews like this in the future, subscribe to the channel now. It costs nothing, you won't miss any videos, and you'll be helping me a lot. And if you're already subscribed, please leave a like and a comment. Maybe we'll crack 5,000 likes. Thanks, everyone. Maybe we'll hit 5,000 likes. Thanks, everyone. For a while, from our perspective, the 3 i Atlas had been hiding behind the sun. But now it's back in our field of vision, and scientists have immediately discovered some big new mysteries. The first big mystery is that 3 i Atlas is now accelerating in a way that cannot be explained by gravity alone. This so-called non-gravitational acceleration was documented by David Farnokia, a navigation engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. The non-gravitational acceleration was measured at a perihelion distance of 1.36 times the Earth-Sun distance, which is 203 million kilometers. The non-gravitational acceleration could be the technological signature of an internal propulsion system, writes Avi Loeb in his typical style. This acceleration had two components, an outward acceleration at 135 km per day squared and an inward acceleration at 234 km per day squared. And a vertical acceleration of 60 km per day squared. That sounds pretty spectacular at first, but this kind of acceleration is actually normal for comets. When a comet approaches the Sun, solar radiation heats its surface and causes the ice to sublimate, transitioning directly from a solid to a gaseous state. These escaping gases act like small jets and can literally propel the comet. So in a sense, it has actually ignited its propulsion system, but one that is completely natural for comets, which are non-technical in nature. What's particularly interesting about Atlas III is that these outgassings basically show that it's behaving like a real comet. But we now have a second major mystery that has emerged. The tail of 3 Eye Atlas seems to have practically disappeared. New images taken by Chi Cheng Zhang at the Lowell Observatory in Arizona show the comet in a greenish light, but without the characteristic dust tail that we normally see in comets. Zhang used a filter in his observations that reacts specifically to atomic carbon, i.e. molecules consisting of two carbon atoms that glow green. These are created when the sun's UV radiation breaks down larger molecules in the comet. Zhang compares the encounter to sunburn. It's roughly the same reason we get sunburned when we spend too long outside without sunscreen. The UV rays destroy our DNA in the skin cells, which is similar to what happens to these large carbon-containing molecules. What is particularly remarkable, 3 i Atlas has shown a very unusual brightness development. Researchers report that the comet has brightened much more quickly than would be the case for normal comets from the Oort cloud. This rapid brightening is not yet fully understood, but is likely to be related to the special composition of this interstellar comet. The reason for 3 is rapid brightening, which far exceeds the increase in brightness of most Oort cloud comets at similar distances, remains unclear, Morstui, write the researchers from Lowell Observatory. They speculate that water sublimation may initially have been suppressed by the cooling effect of carbon dioxide sublimation, which was unusually dominant in 3 i Atlas. Imagine you had an ice cube that consisted of both normal water ice and dry ice. The dry ice sublimates at much lower temperatures and could cool the surrounding regions so much that the normal ice remains solid for longer. Only when the dry ice is used up does the water ice begin to sublimate properly and then things really get going. But okay, okay, I can already hear some of you impatiently asking, but what about the missing tail? That is basically, like so many things in life, a matter of perspective. Yi Cheng Chang explains that If you look closely, you can see that it is slightly brighter on the left side of the comet than on the right. This slight asymmetry in brightness is because we are seeing the tail almost head on. It lies directly behind the comet and curves slightly to the left. And it's like looking at an arrow from directly in front. You can see the arrowhead, but not the shaft behind it. So the tail is there, we're just looking at it from the wrong angle. So, even this mystery can be solved with a down-to-earth explanation. So once again, there are no indications of alien activity here either. 
Avi Loeb also considers this explanation possible. He writes on his website, the caveat here is that this image was taken when 3i Atlas was only about 13 degrees away from the sun in the sky. When the comet's tail points away from the sun, we view it from an unfavorable perspective because we see it almost head on. So the new mysteries have been solved for now. However, that doesn't mean that 3i Atlas isn't special or totally fascinating. 3i Atlas is possibly the oldest comet we have ever observed. Studies suggest that it could be about three to four billion years older than our solar system. This makes it a cosmic time capsule from an era when the universe was much younger. Just think about what that means. While our sun didn't even exist yet, 3i Atlas was already drifting through the galaxy. It has crossed star-forming regions, witnessed supernovae, and may even have observed the birth of one or another star. This perspective is absolutely breathtaking. A cosmic Methuselah now visiting us. Of course, I'll keep you updated on any further discoveries and we'll upload the interview with Professor Loeb as soon as possible. So make sure to subscribe to the channel now so you don't miss anything and don't forget to give a thumbs up so we can hit 5,000 likes. And while we're still in the process of unraveling the mysteries of 3i Atlas, the next discovery is already waiting for us. Researchers have found something completely unexpected in old sky photographs. Evidence of artificial objects that were already visible in the sky in the 1950s, years before the first Sputnik satellite was launched into space. This naturally raises the question, what were these objects in Earth's orbit long before we ourselves mastered space travel? What is behind these mysterious objects on old photographic plates? And could it be that the truth about extraterrestrial visitors lies dormant in dusty archives? You can find out all this and much more in the video above on the right. As always, you'll find another video about space and science below on the right. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, folks.